Oprah's friend, Gail, fights for the blacks. How she has our best interests at heart. How she won't go, there's no limit to how much love and compassion she has for us and how she wants us all to do better in this world. How she wants us to be protected and for us to be prepared and for America to do right by the people who they've used in order to put America, to make America this superpower. How our bodies, our physical bodies were used like cattle to usher in this America that we have. I just want to show you how great Gail King is, man. Folks, here goes a rare piece of footage of Gail King showing you just how much she loves black people. This country now, and a lot of people say that they're impractical, they're impossible to implement. But, you know, my grandmother and that sort of stable, happy life you see her having is possible in part because she actually gets reparations. She gets hundreds of dollars each month from the German government. And I, I brought you um, one of the statements so that people could actually see uh, that this is a real thing. Yeah, but I'm, I'm so fascinated why she can be so sunny considering all that she has seen, to see the death of her brothers, the little nieces and the nephews that clearly didn't make it. I marvel at people like that. And I'm so glad that you brought the story to us. I'm very fascinated by your grandmother now. And I heard that you took her to get vaccinated, Jody, in January. Mm -hmm. What was that like? That's right. Good old girl, kid. Good old girl. That's right. Doing her best to keep her buttermilk biscuits nice and warm. Wouldn't want to mess up her money. Worried about other black people. That's right. Wouldn't want to mess up her opportunities to do more black dancing. That's right. White lady tosses her, tosses the easiest setup. Girl could go down as being a black woman fighting for her people. Hell no. Hell no. Not at all. You ain't gonna mess up that good job she got. She finally doesn't have to ask Oprah for money and you wanna come in here and have her stand up for black people and risk it all? Come on now. She won't be able to have dinners with Harvey Weinstein like she used to, her and Oprah. She can't have now with the celebrities. If you do that, don't mess up my good job. Shut up with your talks about freedom. These black people don't need no freedom. They need me. They don't need to be free. They need to look at me and Oprah. Look at us do our thing. That's what they need to do. Live through our success. Marvel at our fancy cars and dresses and stuff. Our $5,000 person. Stop worrying about yourself. That's what's wrong with these blacks. They worry about themselves. Worry about me. What about me? I'm sticking my neck out here. You want me to put my stuff on the line? I got a house I shouldn't have brought. You can't go expecting me to stick my neck out and to stand up for people like me. Get out of here. People that look like me, get, to, get out of here. I despise the poor. These are all the things I think that's going through Gail's cannibalistic, elitist, punk-ass, liberal elite, limousine liberal, Political mind. This is what you get. Even when you got a white ally who came with receipts. She literally came with receipts to show, see, we can do it. Germany does it. Germany did some wrong shit to citizens. And now Germany is doing something about it besides making up crazy, giving them a, a holiday they already, that they already celebrate. Nah, they're not talking about putting this on their money. They gave my mom actual money. Yeah, instead of putting us on money or making it, giving us Juneteenth or Hip Hop Day. Nah. See, we do it. It's, a, it's possible. And we know, America, we know it's possible, America, that you can give reparations because you already do and you already did. Native Americans got sovereignty. They don't pay taxes. They got their 
They got their casinos. You should have gave them a lot more shit, though. I'll give you that. You should have gave them more. They got something. We got a boot. We got we got to die from exposure. We got 100 years of Jim Crow. Japanese got money. But for some reason, some reason, something's, I don't know what it is. Could it be racist? Racism, structural, institutional racism? The stuff that the Republicans say is doesn't exist? Could be. 